Hey, I know you've got a sore back. And everyone seems to be pointing you to doing yoga. But you can't do that, can you? Because it's full of girls. And when you walk in there, they're smashing it out. And it's a little bit intimidating. But that's okay. You can easily sort out most back things with just a few simple exercises. So I'll come and show you a few things that I think will make a big difference. I'll first explain the principle. If often we think we've got to stretch it out, but that can often make it worse because you're pulling on things and the stretch reflex re reflex kicks in. And it's like, so that you don't you know, have your arm ripped off, you'll pull back and the muscles can go into worse spasms. So what you've got to do is contract a muscle group and then intentionally release it. So when we apply this to lower backs, there's a lot of things we can do, but the simplest thing is you come and lie down like this with your arms wide, knees up, soles flat, feet about hip distance. You've got this, right? No problems. And just settle into the earth and pay attention to how your feet feel. Can you keep them relaxed and light? The back of your hands, and wrists and arms, do they feel even on the floor? Probably not. Do your shoulders rest evenly? Mm, doubt it. And the back of your rib cage and your pelvis? Very unlikely. But let's see. Just have a couple of breaths there. And the first thing is called arch and flatten, and I'll show you how to do it. On an inhale, you arch your spine. You keep your feet light. See, so I've got my lumbar curve off the earth. And then you flatten as you exhale. And then continue. So very steadily, you arch, and that moves the back line into tension. And then you flatten. And that moves the front line into some tension and pulls the back line out of tension. So arch, your chin will move naturally and lightly towards your chest. And then flatten, the chin can move lightly away from the chest. And continue. Now, you, this action might be familiar to you from other activities in your life, right? So here, treat it as an inquiry. It's not a drill, an exercise in the traditional sense of the word, but it will build control, balance, and it will generally iron out back pain. When you've done a little bit of this, just pause and relax everything. Breathe. Now, there are a few things you can do to add on to it quite a lot really, but like if we come to arch and keep your feet light, your chin moves towards your chest, you can open your palms and squeeze your shoulder blades together, hold it for a couple of breaths and breathe and feel your diaphragm and your abdominals and then flatten down again, hold the flatten lightly with light feet. You can pull your shoulder blades apart and breathe there. Okay, and then let everything relax again. So now, just to add on, that might be enough. Just doing that consistently each day will make, a, I will say, a huge difference. But if there's a few things we could add on that are simple. So with feet about the width of your hips, if you roll your knees to the right and roll your head to the left, don't pick it up, roll it like that. And then give your spine a little arch, squeeze your shoulder blades together and breathe. I'm sure you'll feel some tight stuff. Just breathe into it. And then switch it. So your knees and nose come through center. Your knees go over to the left. Your nose rolls to the right. You arch your spine, squeeze your shoulder blades together and breathe there. I'm sure you'll feel some tight stuff there. And then go to the other side again. So everything nice and steady and easy. 
knees right, nose left, arch your spine a little bit, maybe open your palms, squeeze your shoulder blades. Mm. And then when you're ready, after a breath or two, switch it really evenly and steadily, roll your head, don't pick it up. And then arch your spine on the other side a little bit and breathe into that, maybe squeeze your shoulder blades together and open your palms. Mm, and then roll that back onto your back. Okay. Now there's a really, just pause there. The pause is really important. You could come back to just arch and flatten any time. Just gentle, just super gentle. <clears throat> and then, See this, if I said roll your left arm backwards and your right arm forwards, see that like rolling pins. And then you roll the right arm backwards and the left arm forwards like that. And just keep doing that. This doesn't have to be forceful. You roll one arm fully back and one fully forwards. The one that rolls fully forwards, the head of the shoulder might lift off the floor. You might notice as you do this, that it wriggles your hips. And that's fine. And then pause that and relax. And then one more thing for this little sesh, because there's a lot more we can do. But if we roll our knees to the right and roll your nose to the left, Roll your right arm forwards and your left arm backwards. Arch your spine and breathe. And then roll back out of that and switch it over. So knees go to the left, nose goes to the right. Roll the left arm forwards and the right arm backwards. Arch your spine and breathe. Mm. And then just, you can do that as a few times, like roll, coordinate the movement to be smooth and even. If you feel any jerkiness or like, you know, how can I put it, lack of smoothness, slow it down. Because part of the issue is with muscular pain is that you've forgotten or worse than that, never knew how to control them properly. So. We learn to use, like, just keep flowing that. Our muscles and these very natural actions like walking, in some cases, decades ago, and we've never revised it. Yeah, never. It's like driving. It's become an automatic thing. Okay, so you can just flow that a couple of times, and then when you've done that, just pause back here. Okay. And that, done regularly, five minutes will make a huge difference. If it does help, I've got more where that came from, okay? <laughs>